II. Uh, when we were entering World War II, we realized that we were not going to have access to the harbors of Europe or the Pacific. Uh, and we needed a way to get our supplies and soldiers from the ships to the shore, from the shore to the ships. So the duck was invented for that. Each of the initials means a different thing. So we've got four initials, D, U, K, W. The letter D means 1942. Every military vehicle designed by GM in 1942 began with the letter D. So had this been designed in 1943, it would have been an E, UKW, or an E, -yuck. Had this been designed in 1944, we would not be doing family tours. That's all I'm saying about that. So D is 42. U is utility vehicle. K is front wheel drive. the letter K, uh, there is a little arrow that points toward the front of the word. That means front wheel drive. So K is front wheel drive, and W is only meant to look like the twin rear axles at the back of the truck. So that's it. D-U-K-W. Could not be more boring or long to say if you're in a hurry, like say in a war. So the soldiers called it a duck, and the name has survived all of these years. There were 21,000 of these vehicles built by the General Motors Corporation in the 1940s. And with all of the men off fighting in the war, who built the ducks? Women. Women. Rosie the Riveter built these ducks. We can do it. And some people say that's why the originals are still floating to this day. They were built right the first time. So thank you, ladies. Well done. Now the main feature of this DUKW is, of course, that it is amphibious. So I'm going to begin to prepare this vehicle to exit the water by doing the following things. I'm going to get it into uh, neutral here, engage the all-wheel drive. I'm going to hit the gas pedal again. All right, so I'm hitting the gas again instead of the boat throttle. The propeller in the back is turning pushing us forward. The rudder in the back is steering us like any other boat. But unlike any other boat, we have tires underneath us that are all rolling. Every time we've been turning the steering wheel up here, the two front tires of this truck have been turning back and forth under the water as well. You can imagine being a fish looking up at that. Right. So, we're going to get close to the bridge here and beat the horn. go from the water to the land that is of course called storming the beach. So we're going to try to storm this ramp in a smooth fashion here. So the first thing that we're going to feel will be the front tires touching the ramp. Oh, I didn't leave them in the water. That's paperwork. Okay, good. Got the front tires. Next we're going to feel the back tires touch the ramp. And there they are. So I'm going to disengage the propeller. Turn off the navigation lights, turn on the headlights, turn off the marine radio. And as we crawl up this ramp in low gear and all-wheel drive, I'm going to shift us back from all-wheel drive to two and from low gear to high. And just like this, we are a truck again. So give yourselves a hand, everybody. We just stormed the beach of East Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harrowing adventure. <laughs>